look crusty. Jesus Christ! <laughs> What's What's Zoom and welcome to another episode of Pop Culture. Uh, it's story time. B had a story yesterday. It's my turn today. This beautiful Thursday. Sorry, uh, we are speaking on things that you know, game changing moments or like first experiences that we've had. Bloody blah in the squad. And I feel like there hasn't been anything that we've repeated. It always feels like something new. Even if it's a talk series, there's always like a new other talk series or whatever. So um, what I'm speaking on today is. Guys, from this point forward, please call us authors. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> no, yes, definitely. If I had my um, qualifications in my <laughs> bio, I would definitely be author. That reminds me, we need to update our CVs, guys, because... <laughs> yes, author. I actually... That's true. <laughs> Tell me, why are you cringing? I... You were the first person, one of the people between you and me, to advocate for being an author. I'm not definitely an author. <laughs> There's no doubt. I'm about. a contributor. Tembi, what are you? I'm a published author. <laughs> <laughs> Tembi, what are you? Tambay? I, I, I am. Hey. I wrote an essay. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I, you, what you don't know is that Ube says she's going to be an author. So look out for the updates of our bios. <laughs> 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 Kidding. Anyway, <clears throat> so what this is for people that don't know. It's a book that we are a part of, guys. In what? Our names, if you don't believe. <coughs> okay, I won't be able to zoom in without keeping it in focus. But this is our chapter. <coughs> Tembi's is feminism is learning and unlearning. That's the first essay of this chapter. Bangeka is the sort of like middle. We need feminist choices and diverse feminist voices. And Novisa ends off this section with understanding the rules of engagement. I mean, guys, amazing. <laughs> so basically, we were approached uh, in 2016 to be a part of this um, amazing, 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 amazing contribution to voices of women. And I remember when Who Babes, um, Jennifer Thorpe is her name, she's the editor, she emailed us. And like, see, another thing that people don't know is that a lot of the things that we've been a part of, we gen generally like have said a lot of yeses. We've turned down a few things. Because for us, it's definitely about like just learning new experiences, just being a part of something different, challenging ourselves in different ways. So Jennifer emailed and was like, hey guys, we identified you guys as, you know, the peeps, whatever, that would like to be part of this thing. We uh, screen grabbed, sent it in the group chat, and was like, yo guys, Mwadi, yes. And then it was like, Oof. Do we even get to speak on something like this? And what in the world are we gonna say? Because none of us, if, if you've met any of us, none of us have anyway, not a status. Not, well, I don't know actually, maybe in your past status. <laughs> but in my statuses, I have never called myself a feminist. I've never, you know, whatever. But it's not to say that I don't care about issues that women are facing. Um, I feel like I'm going out of my way with the channel and my personal life to contribute to a better story of what it means to be black and female in South Africa. But I haven't necessarily put, you know, the feminism title on my back. So then when this opportunity comes, it's like, surely the feminist pe like people who, you know, have advocated for it and spoken to it in other scriptures and writings and things should be, you know, the ones to contribute. So I didn't really feel like I could. And none of us kind of felt that way. But then it was like, well, <clears throat> at the same time, in order to get to a place of also understanding, we all come from not understanding. So surely that's also a perspective that is worth kind of speaking on. And we've obviously spoken about feminism in many different formats, but a lot of the conversations that we've had has been, which is the chapter that we are in, surprisingly, is inclusions and exclusions. And that's a real thing. And so we've experienced, like, from observation different formats of exclusions where it's just like well if your voice doesn't come off in a certain way sometimes it doesn't feel like you get to have a say and that's pretty much kind of what my essay was speaking on was just like I want to contribute to changing the game as far as women's lives and things but like do I need to call myself a feminist to contribute to that thing or not or like what's the who so I definitely was very very intimidated in 2016 writing my essay 
then also not having Chimamanda's English available to me <laughs> to also be able to impart that kind of feminist English or you know Michelle Obama's English so I was just like mm, I don't know and I remember reading my thing over and over again and being like well this sounds dumb like I don't know that this is even something that can be published but little did I know that obviously through the process <clears throat> There was going to be like so many reviews and back and forth between Jennifer and kind of sending back the essay after it being edited, you know, looking at their um, like, you know, contributions to where you could tweak and fix and whatever, then fixing that, sending it back, then they sent it. Like it was literally a back and forth and that was 2016. Um, from what I remember, the book had initially had the hopes of being released last year, but obviously as life would have it, 2018 and I feel like it was a perfect year. And then yeah, by 2018, I still felt the same. I don't know about you guys like with your essays, but like... I read my essay and I was like, I'm literally still feeling the same way that I did 2016 and I feel the same way. Yeah, I also feel the same. I, I stand by everything I said. I mean, it's a learning experience and I think I, I said that in my in my essay that I don't have the answers. I don't know. Mm. I'm on a journey. Mm. And I think, I mean, I think you've, you've mentioned, you mentioned it in your essay on the Google team. And movement is not finite. It's not, it, there's no boundaries. It doesn't end here now. It's okay, cool. So we feminists sepelalala, you know. I think um, the merit in a movement is that you see the faults or whatever, then it evolves, or you add. <coughs> there are additions, there are deductions, you know. So I can't say that umokema we feminist uje, you know. So the merit again to this book for me is that there is no right or wrong answer. It's just thoughts and views. Yeah. And for whether and you opinions. Can, and opinions Voices. and just like you know what I mean. And wh whether there can be points where you disagree with that's amazing that's great but the the aim of it is to see the diversity in for me the feminist thought yeah um which is what i think is like amazing being a part of this what it taught me is to believe in my voice is the biggest thing um even if i was whispering throughout and only felt proud about it when i saw it in the book um Hopefully one day if there is another book opportunity that I'll be more confident in the process But I think it was amazing to be it's amazing to be a part of something as big as this B and I saw the book in a bookstore in real life with our real eyes just the other day and it was like I also saw like the books. What the hell? Oh. You buy books all the time and say and now your book is it's there. It's there Anyway, the point of the matter is the book is out. Um, go to your nearest bookstore <laughs> <laughs> Feminism is, but I think the ultimate thing that I just want to end off with is whether you agree or disagree with the voices in here. I think it's just a call to action for us to speak up on all the things that you're feeling, speak your truth. If you have anything to share about what your view is on what feminism is, please leave your comments below. Tag the kids that need to be tagged. Read the chapters that need to be read. By the book, because the most ultimate thing that I could not, how could you, how could I forget, is the fact that the proceeds of portion of the proceeds of this book will be donated to rape crisis cape town guys i don't know if i ever shared this with you but one of my biggest fears in life is being raped like ultimate ultimate fear ultimate so i know that if we have contributed to changing somebody else's life from something so painful even if it's like in 20 piece jesus christ thank you so much um and yeah man and on that note positivity and light to everybody buy the book engineers <laughs> bookstore <laughs> thank you oh yeah subscribe i don't even know if i said subscribe but no. subscribe everywhere buy the book subscribe <laughs> buy the book subscribe <laughs> thank you there's pumla Kola, there's danielle uh, Paula, baby girl danny hey mm -hmm. um kuku masangu um temi masava uh, <laughs> there is um oh wait so back at tv no man i'm keys I'm um, aware to sister girl, baby girl. I mean, like, first of all, I don't wait. It deserves a sit down. I why? Of course. You, you, you need to have a notebook. It has. Oh, I'm gosh. not ready for hers yet because I need to sit down I wanna and focus. It.